Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Excel Highway. We're your one-stop shop for Excel tips and tricks, VBA, and really want to show you how you can really use Excel to maximize your daily routines in a very efficient and easy way. Today I want to share with you a very nice and simple file that you can use to manage your inventory. And when I mean manage your inventory, basically in respect to inbound and outbound deliveries. So this file is supposed to really help you just manage that part. It's not supposed to replace an entire system where you have a lot of information and different, um, you know, different transactions. This is focusing only on inbound, outbound uh, deliveries. So this can be helpful for you if you're managing a small warehouse or if you just want to, sh to understand your stock level uh, at a certain location. So that is the objective. So this sheet has four, this file has four sheets, parameters, where you set up the SKU numbers and description. And in this case, I have location and bin, but this is just an example. You could set it up however way you want. You could have three or four or five different definitions of a location or one. So you'll see that in a minute. Then there's the log. The log basically shows you everything that you you either received or shipped out, and you can use that later on to analyze, you know, how many deliveries you got per day, quantity shipped out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then you have the inbound sheet. The inbound sheet is where you post whatever is received. And the outbound sheet is where you post basically whatever you want to take out of the inventory. And you can see on the left here, this pivot table is actually showing you the quantity in the log, which is above zero, meaning this is what you have as in a positive balance. Okay, so let's just start, show you a quick example how to use it. So I've created drop down lists for the SKU location in bin. You can use that, you, you don't have to. I like to use this because it just makes things more organized, but you really don't, it's not a must. So let's say I select one, two, three, I get a description, one, two, six, I don't know, one, two, four, okay? Then I select the locations, A, B, and of course, I can also type in, and just the bin number doesn't really matter. And the last part is the quantity that I received. So let's put 90, 90 apples, 90 sugar, and 90 pear. Then I click this button called inbound, and it asks me if I'm sure. And basically what it does, once you get this message, it basically copies this information in the inbound here on the bottom to the log, plus it adds those um, last columns for calculations, and it also gives you the date or the exact time of the transaction. So this is the inbound. The last thing it does, it updates the pivot table, and now you see the, the lines that I uh, keyed in. Now I want to take something out. So I want to take uh, the 14 apples here, 15 here, 20 here, and 12. And you see that if I, I um, added here a uh, checkbox to make sure that I'm, I cannot pull more than what I have. And it already shows you that this is more than the available. So if I click now on outbound, again, it asks me if I'm sure. It's going to give me this error message. Requested quantity is greater than available quantity. So I cannot run the code because this number is more than zero. So I have to adjust this to eight. Or maximum 10. Now let's click on are you sure and what it'll do it will again transfer the information to the log and update the pivot table and then you'll see that this list will be different. Again I get this message update complete and you see that the number of lines was reduced and um, now I have the fresh uh, information of what I can uh, hold what I can uh, pull out from my inventory. And if I look at the log, you would see basically what I did today was three lines of received and eight lines of picked. Why eight lines? Because it's actually taking the entire list here 
even though it's at zero. So it's zero um, regardless. So this is the um, this is the very nice uh, I think <laughs> very nice in my opinion example of, of how you can use a little bit of VBA coding to really uh, operate a, uh, a very simple yet elegant uh, uh, tool for you. If you like this uh, so far video, please make sure to, to leave a comment, like it, or even subscribe because I'm posting new videos every week. Now let's d deep dive a little bit into the code itself. So I like to use, I like to press, um, uh, right click on the uh, um, on the uh, icon, but you can also access through uh, Alt F11. And I'm going to edit one, and, and you'll see I only have one code. Basically, I'm using the active sheet name to differentiate some of the code. So I don't have two codes, only one. So the code is pretty simple. We have a lot of integers, sorry, a lot of parameters here set up on top. And I'm using the worksheets. This active worksheet is going to be my sheet called WS. And the destination is going to be log. Because as I said, I'm always moving information into the sheet called log. Next step is where I'm uh, actually prompting the user if he really wants to run the code, just giving him a last option. So it's a very simple code. And if he doesn't click yes, I'm exiting. Uh, the, uh, the code or exit sub. The next stop is where I'm checking this this area right here. Okay, if this is greater than zero, then I have an issue. In the inbound sheet, this doesn't. This is always empty, so this shouldn't be an issue. Uh, but here, this is a this is a, a formula. So that's how you get that message of uh, there's a problem. And again, I want to stop the uh, code from running. Once I've, I've, I'm past that point, I can run the code. I'm adding this application screen up to false. This uh, usually speeds up the time to run the uh, macro. It's not that important in this case. Basically, it doesn't update the screen, so you don't see whatever's happening in the background. You just see the end result. Uh, it's always good to use that whenever you code you build. Um, and now I'm looking for the last row. Uh, because I'm copying from different locations and here I'm making sure that I have a minimum of four because the tables start at four and if I don't have any 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 information for example if this is empty I don't want it to take data from here because that will actually uh, mess up the entire file that's why I use a minimum of four in this case also last column I'm using uh, you don't have to use always last column if your tables are fixed then I have two parameters, the text. The text, this is what's going to appear here, whether it's picked or received. And uh, quantity to begin with is zero. And then uh, I, which I'm using further on for the loop. Sorry, for the uh, as a parameter for the location. And here is where I'm using the uh, sheet name. So if it's inbound, I'm going to use text receive. If it's not, I'm using the default, which is picked. Here is where I just copy uh, the information from the source to the destination, okay, with the last row in the destination. Here is where I uh, add in the information that doesn't exist, the text, now the quantity. And the last part, I'm copying, again, the quantity, uh, the real quantity, um, you can do it a little bit more elegantly, but this is how I built it. And lastly, I'm clearing uh, that quantity. The final step, I'm going here to the log, and I'm copying information up to here, and I just want to copy these two columns all the way down. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy the first, or line number two, all the way to the last row. And finally, the last part, I'm clearing out uh, uh, the inbound information. I don't need to clear out here because it's a pivot table and it's going to be updated. And then I have the refresh all which updates the pivot table. I'm uh, using this to uh, clear the uh, copy paste. And back to screen updating and finally giving you that update complete message. 
that was it this is the rundown of the VBA code and the file itself if you like the video please subscribe leave a comment I'd be happy to share with you the working file and also help you if you have any questions about it hope you enjoyed the video see you next time